Happy is um, the most stripped back song on my record Fruit. Um, I took a very long time to write it actually, probably about three months, because I wrote the verse and then I didn't really know what I wanted to say yet in the chorus, so I had to figure out thematically what it was that I was trying to express. Fruit is the most eccentric song on the record. It has disco uh, inspired production, which shocked even me because I do not like funky music. <laughs> but somehow it infused itself in the track um, and it's definitely a one-off. It's one of the oddest tracks I've done. The third track is called I'm a Ruin. It's about the other side of a relationship which isn't really talked about often which is you know when you have to finish with someone you have to deal with the guilt of hurting someone that you've loved blue this is one of the most pop sounding tracks on the record it's quite electronic um again it's quite 70s inspired um and I had a lot of fun creating it that was the first track that, that i recorded with david coston The fifth track is called Forget, which is one of my favourites. It's pretty much the only chorus I've ever written which has just one word in it. Forget it. <laughs> and um, I wrote that when I was extremely hungover the day after uh, a Brit Awards party. It kind of encapsulate the, encapsulates the whole mood of the record though, because it's very much taking a look at my life from a bird's eye view. The next track is called Gold. I wrote this in Magdeburg in Germany. Thank you very much. Um, I was supporting Coldplay at the time and I was touring my album Electra Heart. Uh, I had a day off in this lovely country, countryside hotel and, um, and I was feeling very frustrated, so I wrote that song. Uh, the next track is called Can't Pin Me Down. This is one of my favorites. It's about avoiding being defined, constantly defined by people. So I kind of wrote it with women in mind, but I guess it you know, can, can be applied to anybody. This is one of the tracks I'm most excited for fans to hear. The next track is called Solitaire. It's one of the most stripped back tracks on the record, but it's an important one thematically. It's kind of about um, sticking up for yourself and uh, remaining a very strong character despite you know whatever is going on around you. The next track is called Better Than That. And this was written pretty early on and it was a signifier for how my sound would go on to evolve because I really wanted to create this band sound and be produced as a band. Um, it's probably the only track on the record that's a little bit, um, has a little bit of spite in it. <laughs> Weeds. Weeds is the next track. To be honest, this is the one that I can relate to the least now. It seems very far away from me, but it was about, you know, the uh, feeling that you get when you're in a relationship where you're not really quite over the relationship before and you are letting that affect your current one. Um, so, yeah, that was the subject matter for that. So the next track is called Savages. This was actually inspired by something that I read in a newspaper um, around the time of the Boston bombings, the Marathon bombings, and I was just so, I don't know, I was just so disgusted that you have these people running for charity to save other people's lives and then there are other people in the world who are making bombs to blow these people up. So it kind of began um, on that subject, but I was also just really disturbed by how many cases of rape there were in, in the news and what kind of news stories we were getting. It just seemed to be really, really full of horrendous stories, um, which you know, ha happen all the time, but obviously they were getting more and more press, the more stories that were reported. So 
I wanted to write a song that kind of explored what it is to be human and as opposed to condemning these things, it's more about acknowledging that it's part of us and it's part of human nature. Then the very last song on the record is called Immortal. And this was inspired by the idea that, you know, when you die, you, you don't, you can't leave anything behind except for your memories. And I got the idea for this when I was in Poland and I went to a war memorial. And I read a comment on a site, uh, like a tourist site, uh, that was reviewing the war memorial and it just said, you know, it's not very pretty, but it deserves visiting to keep these people's memories alive and what they went through. And that really stuck with me. So that's when I began to write that song.